Hi Eco Explorer family and friends, this is Megan here. I'm creating this video so you all can learn how to use iNaturalist as well as participate with our last BioBlitz challenge. iNaturalist is an awesome tool for scientists and we need your help to ID 15 different observations under the Eco Explorer project. You can pull up iNaturalist on the side and follow along with the step-by-step -step tutorial video. This website and mobile-friendly app is an online network for people to share information about nature, take part in citizen science, and learn about the plants and animals around them. Our first step today is going to that top right corner and selecting Login or Sign Up. If you already have an account, you can log into iNaturalist. However, if you are new and need to create an account, you will enter the required information here or you could also use your Facebook or a Google account. Upon doing this, you'll be prompted to your dashboard, but this is what your account will look like and this is where you can upload and add observations. To help out with Eco Explore and our BioBlitz challenge, you will go to Community and select Projects. In this Projects, you are going to search Eco Explore select Eco Explore, and this is our home page. This is where the data and observations from our users are uploaded. Really cool map outline of all the different observations and where they have been recorded, as well as recent pictures. For this challenge, you're going to select observations. Wow, we have surpassed 14,000 observations. That is awesome. And with the City Nature Challenge coming up this month of April, this number is only going to skyrocket. As you can see, there are a variety of observations from all walks of life, and you can view them from this map perspective, but also from a grid platform and a list. What I often do is scroll through this list off to the side and just pick one I'm interested in. It doesn't have to be some crazy exotic species, just choose one that you'll be comfortable IDing for our Eco Explorer users. To demo, I'm just going to select pill bug because most of us are familiar with roly polies or pill bugs, and we are going to suggest an identification. There's a variety of different kinds of pill bugs, so if you wanted to dive a little deeper, you can select view and it will pop up the home page for that specific species. This also helps to make sure that you are looking in the location where they can be found and it's not a creature from a different country and or continent. So I'm going to just select the common pillwood louse and suggest that ID. If you guess wrong, that's totally okay too, but hopefully other users can make further suggestions or corrections to determine the species ID. Another thing that you can do is go into the filters and search a multitude of different filter tools. So if you just wanted to look at arachnids or spiders, you could select those. You could select botany, different plants. You could also search in a location. So if I wanted to look at the coastal region, I can select that and update my search and it will show different species found in this area. One thing I like to use filters for is to filter unknown observations so that we can help those kids who might not have a species ID'd for them on Eco Explore, and it can help them gain back that ID point. So I'm going to help our MJM903 user figure out the name of this species. iNaturalist provides different suggestions for you. And iNaturalist is super helpful just because it kind of eliminates some of the excess searching and work that you have to do on your end with those suggested. After a little digging, I've determined this to be Indian strawberry and hopefully other users can also suggest this ID and help MJM903 gain back that extra point. If you want to check in on your IDs as well as follow up with previous observations, you can go to your homepage and select IDs. This will show you all of the posts that you have contributed to and you can also see stats over here. So we know we need 15 observations and once you get 15, you can take a screenshot of this page and send it to Eco Explore. But I'm going to follow up on our unknown observation. It has been determined to be Indian strawberry and 
even has the research grade title, and that is due to two or more users suggesting the same ID name. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about iNaturalist. Keep exploring, and we will see you in another video.